What's going on, everybody? Steve here. Uh, forgive the uh, any lack of articulation or uh, video quality of this. Um, I've been drinking a little bit, but I want to tell you guys something. Um, I'm in Orlando, Florida. Um, I went to Daytona Beach, then I come to the hotel in Orlando, and we've been doing the parks here, and I decided I was going to go fishing today. Uh, there was a little bit of a storm. It had to close the pool down for a mandatory 30 minutes, uh, so I went fishing, and in the process of fishing, I spoke to a gentleman, and literally what he uh, said to me made me want to fucking cry. The only reason I held it back is because I don't, I don't know him, I guess. But it made me fucking tear up a little and get cloudy eyed and shit. So y'all just listen to me for a minute and I want y'all to pay attention. Um, I did not bring up politics, he did. I could tell this older gentleman had an accent. I could tell this older gentleman was not uh, born in America. I could tell this older gentleman, um, just from appearance, was not white. Um, but I want to tell you guys something. And I don't care if you're not white, black, Mexican, I want y'all to listen up. He's, we start to, he's, he brought up the crime rate in California and he started bringing up um, black people who do drugs and Mexicans who do drugs and all this other shit. He brought all this up. I, as a white man, did not. And I told him straight up to his face. I said, I didn't want to bring any of this up during our conversation until I knew where you were going with this because I really don't want to argue with anybody today. Here's a beer. He told me in the course of our conversation, he is 61 years old, from Mexico. He came to this country when he was seven. His mother and dad come over and were told to work six years hard as they can, legally, without getting into any legal or drug trouble. Then they went back to the immigration office and they were given citizenship. They worked their asses off. Um, obviously, I can give you every detail what he's been telling me. Um, but this gentleman said how he was anti Hillary Clinton because of the shit she did involved and how Honduras is fucked up. Um, he said, even though he doesn't like Honduras and other shit, he goes, We're Mexican. He said, I'm a Mexican. He goes, Honduras and all this other shit, all the Latino countries get involved with Mexicans. They get grouped in with Mexicans, and it's not fair, it's not right. He said, my mother and father come over here and worked their asses off. He said, the moment we got here in this country, my dad pointed at the American flag and said, you know what? You respect that flag. You respect the laws. You respect the country. Mexico is a place you visit. America is the place you live. America is the country you are a citizen of. That's what was told to him when he was seven years old and come here. He's 61 and told this to me and about made me fucking cry because he holds those values so fucking dear. He was telling me this with his child and grandchildren. He has three generations and was telling me about the businesses he owns and the businesses his dad worked his ass off to own and how he's been working since he was 10. His family and his bloodline worked their asses off to be here. So if you ever doubt the Trump campaign, the Trump administration, or the illegal immigrants, I want you to think about the words this gentleman told me because they worked their asses off and earned the right to be American. And I would fucking respect and love that motherfucker because he earned it.